Good morning everybody. I am Wednesday, middle of the week, of week eight of lockdown and I hope everybody is still managing to get about in the summer weather but stay in. I know that there's been some um, fun with the mixed messages so you can go out but you have to stay in but I think um, we've been told quite clearly things haven't changed and so we are staying in. But the good weather is at least letting us get out and about a wee bit, so hope that everybody's managing to do that. Um, spoke to a number of people yesterday from the church, and one or two people um, are uh, needing our prayers. So if you could um, think of Mary Lang, who is going in to hospital for an operation, uh, that would be great. And also um, Jeanette Johnson's brother is quite ill. So if you could um, remember these people particularly today, that would be um, ideal and they would appreciate that. Uh, Christian Aid Week this week and um, I was, we were phoned very early this morning uh, to tell, for someone to tell me that um, 40 years ago, in the School Bride News, on the 40 years ago page, and I know that people think how can that be? Because I'm not even 40. Um, but uh, 40 years ago, on the East, in the School Bride News, on the page where you looks back on the memories from times past, um, apparently I feature on the page uh, for Christian Aid Week 40 years ago. So that's quite apt that this is Christian Aid Week this week. When I do remember uh, selling 365, I think they said it was, bars of chocolate to raise money for Christian aid. So um, it just shows you that 40 years ago um, we were trying to still support Christian aid then and um, ever since we've been supporting it every year since. But um, I do remember uh, the horror of the 365 bars of chocolate that we sold um, in aid of Christian aid all that time ago. So I've been using the material from Christian aid uh, and today I'm going to read a prayer that Christian Aid have um, given as part of the resources this year. Um, and it's a prayer for times of isolation. But first of all, I'm going to read a verse from Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. And then the prayer is, God of heaven and earth, in these times of isolation, apart from loved ones, distant from friends, away from neighbours, thank you that there is nothing in all of creation, not even coronavirus, that is able to separate us from your love. And may your love that never fails continue to be shared through the kindness of strangers looking out for each other, for neighbours near and far, all recognising our shared vulnerability, each of us grateful for every breath and willing everyone to know the gift of a full and healthy life. Keep us all in your care. Amen. And um, lots of other resources that we would have been using as part of our service so um, I will continue for Thursday and Friday to use the resources from Christian Aid and share them with people who um, maybe would have had them on Sunday for our service. Uh, just to remind you that we do um, share uh, lots of Church of Scotland things on our Facebook page and our website and we do share lots of things from other churches um, things that other churches in our presbytery are doing at the minute, things that other churches out with our presbytery through the rest of Scotland are doing, um, anything that we can see. Uh, so you can have a wee look there. If you um, can like and share it, that would be helpful to us, but also to those other churches that um, that's a way to spread the news. And I think um, if you read some of the literature and listen to some of the people, then you, you'll see that this time um, the church is being spread further by the use of social media and by different things. Um, and it has been a great thing for the church to be able to do that. 
I was speaking to someone last night who was telling me that their church is holding their service on Zoom on a Sunday morning and over a hundred people are in, enjoying the service on Zoom on a Sunday morning. So that's um, wonderful because otherwise th these people would all just be sitting at home but they're managing to get together and to share the time and um, to worship together on a Sunday through um, Zoom. Um, also, can you remember all those who are uh, in the position of not speaking to anyone for, for num a number of days and um, think about those people uh, in your prayers this week. Um, tonight it will be um, the Westcott Weekly and I will send it out as usual. Uh, and I know that a number of people have been um, grateful for the community information that I have been putting on it. Um, anything that I think will be helpful to people and I know people have used that. But also, can I just remind you that the moderator and his wife, uh, the Reverend Colin Reed and Ruth, this is their last week as moderator and Mrs. Moderator. And they have been um, sharing with us some of their visits as part of the moderator's year and some of the things that they have and the history of um, being the moderator. And it's been really interesting. So if you can listen to them, uh, they're much more interesting than me. Uh, they've got lots to say. And um, this week, uh, on Saturday, uh, th it will be the new moderator, the Reverend Martin Fair, who is in a church in Arbroath. So we will follow that. And over the weekend, uh, there are some opportunities for people to, um, to take part with that too. And um, we will share that with you on Facebook and on the website. And so that people can maybe join into some of the things. Uh, the Heart and Soul event that was part of the um, Presbytery weekend, uh, the Moderators weekend, is still going ahead. And we'll give you information how to um, perhaps join in with that. So I hope everybody's well. Uh, let me know if you need anything still. Um, just phone or email, um, message, whatever. We're open to all. Um, requests and um, take care and we'll see you tomorrow. See you then. Bye.